it's it's incredible to realize where the comedic tradition comes from, uh, because so much of it is so, you know, lowbrow. Um, one might use the word stupid, and I use stupid very lovingly. Um, but, you know, you have these very formulaic shows, you have Aristophanes making all kinds of, you know, fart jokes. Um, and, and so finding, finding those connections um, where you get to look back on, on, you know, where culture comes from. It's not to say that it started there. I mean, I realize that they're also drawing in their own traditions and um, there's plenty of stuff that we don't have, but it's just always been making those connections that have been those really magical moments for me. Definitely, yeah. Um, I don't want to knock the not real life stuff too, because I mean, I love me some metamorphoses and people getting turned into things that you know, people can't really get turned into. Um, so I don't want to knock the fantasy at all. And, and the, you know, um, the war stories are also very important. I mean, I would always, I would always choose like the Odyssey over the Iliad, second half of the, or sorry, no, the first half of the Aeneid over the second half. Um, but that's just that's just my you know sensibility of storytelling. I'll take the journey over the battle mm -hmm. any day. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's, and so maybe I guess it is the real life, but it's also the realizing too the commonalities of fantasy that exist between now and then. Um, you know, what's not real, but has grabbed us in the same way today as it did back then. And one of the, the things that I was most interested in, which shaped the, the thesis that I wrote my senior year at Haverford, was this question of, of why myth has been so persistently important in uh, our culture. Um, considering that the religions that are dominant today are so, in a lot of ways, inconsistent with the, the origin myths that are still incredibly well known. Um, and, and a sub-question that I got into was, you know, myth has then sort of become a, a children's territory. Um, it's like a type of storytelling um, that is used to entertain kids, and how did it become relegated to that role? I guess it's not looking necessarily for, for ways that experience then and now line up, even though that is something that I always found really interesting, but it's as much about looking at ways that the experience then has impacted and carried through to, to what our culture is now.